Hello everyone, I am Tom Burley, and two years ago in a brief time window between two storms and a third, we met here for the first time and tried valiantly to make a success of a very wet and windy mudlarking meetup. Today is summertime, a bit of a drought actually, and the river is as low as I've ever seen it which means that most of it is wadeable now and we have clear bottom buckets to search for riverbed with. The cliff face itself that the river has cut into an old municipal dump site has been picked over many times by many mudlarkers, myself included, since the last high waters receded. So the riverbed and some rarely revealed parts of the riverbank are perhaps our best bet for finding some treasures today. Fingers crossed that everyone finds something that brings a smile. Beautiful glass for our project. That. that. Yeah, perfect. You can see a thing. Well, you can't see a thing. I don't know what I'm doing. About a bead. I thought it was a clay marble, but it's actually a bead. Clay bead. Nice. Tom has very kindly pointed out that there is a doll's head here and it's shattered but there might be so let's try and get this out hmm. okay so there's this bit on the eyebrows oh there is more underneath isn't there and then this is more of it isn't it oh i wonder if the eyes are going to be here let's see the more of it. It's <laughs> slippy. Come on them. <laughs> Come on them. <laughs> oh, I wonder if this is all going to be here. Some more. It's the other bit of the lip. There's some more. Now I'm not going to clear away any of this dirt. Oh, it's in here! It's just an ear. Oh! There's an ear, because there might be eyes in here. Is that a bit of face or an eye? Oh, tiny chip bit of face. Oh no. <laughs> okay, more searching. There's another piece. It's not an eye. I wonder. I wonder how much of it is here now then. Okay, I think this might be all of it. But I think I, there might be enough. Let me get my bag out. Also, I wanted to see what this one. So that might be enough to rebuild that doll. Base for feet. More newspaper. I don't know how to take that. Look for it. Looking at the muddy lump. It's part of a egg cup. But look what it has on it. <laughs> There's no water here. I'm too far up. 
I think he has all his face. Oh, he does! Look! I think he's a whippet or a greyhound. Oh, he's nice. Teeny tiny sauce bottle, part of the label. Can't quite make out what it says. But that's very cute. We don't need it. As I'm up <laughs> quite steep. What's this one? This one's got more of its label on it. Rum. <laughs> Where's all the rum gone? Why is all the rum gone? Lid. Baker light lid. I should take that. Okay. These are players' cigarettes. I wonder if they're actually part of the cigarette packet. That's quite nice. But I imagine it would just deteriorate. Look, it's quite scary. <laughs> That's such a shame. Look at the beautiful label. It's all smashed. Might take the lid though. <laughs> Lens. And Cruston. For a clock or something. Now it's raining. It rained the last time we came. It's not raining that much this time, luckily. And there is a marmalade pot here. And it is complete. Oh, and it does have the writing on the bottom. Oh, gosh, it's very heavy with all the mud. Her P. Hartley's. Not sure we need it, though. Teaspoons. Oh gosh, there's a reed in my face. Teaspoons is cute. Not sure we need it though. I'll put it back into its little home. <laughs> it cl clicked back into place, that's satisfying. Is that going to be a tiny perfume bottle? It is. Lovely, adorable. I do like these, but we do have quite a few already. Oh, so I might leave this one. Might leave it next to this beautiful iridescent jar. It's another piece of a doll's head. Really, I think it's a good shape. Couple of good shaped bits. Oscar's got the glass bottom bucket, but I think I see a post office bag seal. I do. What does it say? London. Oh, now it makes me think there could be other goodies down here. Let me call Oscar over with the bucket. Very kindly, Mr. Burley has let me use his bucket. of a doll's head. So I can see a button and a, yeah, can you see the button? Nice, and then can you also see that lead toothpaste lid? Perfect, thank you. Can you see it? No, because your hair's in the way. Ooh, wait, hold the, hold the bucket. I'm sure that's just not like a old ring. Mm, I think it might be a, a buckle or we can certainly use it as a doll's buckle. Nice, pop it in the bucket. I know that you're not supposed to use the bucket to hold your finds but... Oh what's that? Oh and there's a headless... wait I need to fill... There is a headless man under the water and something interesting next to him too. Can you see the headless figurine? I see wire. Yep next to that, yeah that's the interesting thing. Oh, 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 we'll put it in the bucket. And then do you see the headless man? I think he's still got his gun. <laughs> Just under the wire, you see him? 
this guy. Yeah, that guy there. Wow, look how long his gun is. Ooh, cool. Wow, shame he's not got his head. He's very detailed. Something else down there. Sorry, this isn't the best filming. Not really done this before. Where? Oh, we said a flower. Oh my gosh. Is it like a daffodil? Oh, what is that? Oh, is that a button? Oh, I think it's a fastener. Oh, yeah. There's all sorts of beautiful. That is a beautiful. Imagine it was a brooch or a pin. Make a very good perch for a doll. I'm not a doll bird in the d doll's house. There, that's all I found. <laughs> <laughs> the back end of a horse. Uh, it, it is exciting, but I'm not sure my eyesight's good enough. Yeah, turn you this. Would have been on a motorbike, maybe, well, or a horse. He's sort of no, a he's on a motorbike. Nobody rides a horse like that. No one wears boots. I, I don't know. Oh, <gasps> so much water going in my welly. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> this amazing, Kate. <laughs> What's your sound? It's getting deep here. Can you see it? Oh, a gobby. I think it might be a gobby. Oh, hey. Oh. Is it encrusted? Oh, it's coming. It is, oh, before it gets washed away. Ooh, Ooh. there's a mottled black and white one, yeah? Lit dark, cobalt blue, I think. Oh, let's see. Nice. Hooray! Wow, we've had a gobby in the river. A gobby. Oh. I'm here, I'm here. What? Me? Not past your hair, no. Without falling over. Oh, he's got no head. There he's he is. Get him. Bucket, get him. Can you get him, Oscar? Get him. Oh, I thought he's gone then. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it's a drummer. Yeah, there's a coin or something. It's a drummer. Oh, that's one. beautiful. One. Look. <laughs> oh, Oscar found some typeface. Oh, really? Yeah. What letter is it? Yeah, put the drummer. It's just a shame he's got no head. Obviously, they never have a head. Yeah, that's like a crown. Under my foot. What's that? Coin. Coin. Oscar found a coin. Okay, I'm coming. What? Really? <laughs> okay. That might be a penny. Is that a penny? <laughs> I can't see it. I can see. Can you see anything on it? No, it's the round bumps. So it's definitely a coin. Oh no, it's definitely a coin. I just wondered if it was a penny or if it was older. That was all. Fastener. Can you see? This. Yeah. I just picked it up and didn't film picking it up because I didn't. But I don't know if that's a coin. I think that might be a coin. What do you think, Oscar? Coin? That's like the edge of the... I think that might be a coin. I think it's a sixpence. Possibly. 
little fastener and a typeface which is an A or a 3 or an 8 or an AND <laughs> it could be but it's typeface look you can see where it's coming from it's yeah it's loads of bits it's all just metal, metal yeah. pieces Yeah, that's what my welly would look like. Get up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that has been a dream find. It's a Monopoly shoe. Oh, it's also it's a, charm. a charm. Look, it's got a... It's a charm. It's got the little thing at the end. I just was just going for little metal bits in the... I didn't even have the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> and all I'm thinking is that... The doll's house. It, put it... Yeah, at the end of the, the bed. Because there's one in the, the, the new doll's house, isn't yeah. there? It's a little charm. Okay, that's just made by... Look at it, oh. it's so detailed. Look at it, his necklace. Yeah, it was a charm. It probably would have gone on a charm bracelet. Oh, very, very happy with that. Indeed. Oh, Perfect. Yeah, did you also pick up the... Uh, well, I was just going sorry. through that little pile. Sorry. But sorry, I think I got the best thing. Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> okay. End of a spoon. Now it's raining again. Part of a ink stand, ink well. Cut glass, but it is broken, unfortunately. Could have been nice though. Maybe you could use it for something. It's quite heavy. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure if it's cut glass. Could be cut glass. Oh, it's raining again. <laughs> the cake just doesn't care about being wet anymore. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yep. Look at that! Oh, with well, the other thing, oh I, found, I, my I found something that looked like a perch. <laughs> Weirdly. That is an incredible find. Oscar just found a tiny stair carpet rod. And look, this is one I found. This one you found. Yeah. They correlate to our, correlate to our a, sizes. I think I found a bitcoin. A what? A bitcoin? No, like a... Oh, what? <laughs> oh, patch. Oh, a mother of pearl button. Or an abalone shell. I think it's an abalone shell, abalone. That's lovely, Oscar. What else is there? <laughs> does that look like the end of a piece of cutlery? Oh, does it gonna have oh, more? It's a, oh, it's a whole fork.
Spoon looks like it might be interesting. Ooh. Oh. It's almost like a whole It's almost like a whole crockery set. I think we'll take the spoon though, because we love a spoon. Wow. Part of the truck. Yeah. Nice. I think it's an older one though. Yeah, it does look yeah. But that's an old one, that's like lead. Nice. writing on and <laughs> and they think it's a lead person's head <laughs> it's a lead head from one of the <laughs> your voice is sounding all echoey in the bucket and they think it's a lead person's head a lead what is it a lead head it's not <laughs> easy to say Oh, it's like a pl oh no, I don't think it's a policeman. I think it's like a soldier. It's got like a pointed front. And then I think this is like a company. We found a head for a lead soldier. And then this is typeface that says something eight multiple. We can fix that. We have so many headless lead things. Like <laughs> <laughs> there's the head. Okay, it's just in the water, basically. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, just crawling around. <laughs> You'll be careful in the glass or anything. Yeah. Noska's just soaking wet wearing Kate's t shirt. <laughs> I have one wet foot. Oh, I know. Wow! What, where is, which, who's that? Air Force? She's looking like a duck. <laughs> not a duck. <laughs> I know it's not a duck. It's a, um, I'm not sure, I wonder if Tom knows. Probably. And, yeah, a bead. Wow, find that in this river. Yeah, I know, I fully embraced, it looks like I've wet myself. <laughs> so now that I fully embraced this, I'll go after Tom if he knows. Yeah, I think I've just found a tiny arm holding a knife. <laughs> I have. <laughs> it's gonna die. Oh really? <laughs> How hard? <laughs> been a while since Oscar's been hard larking. What you got to say? <laughs> it's salt cellar. Pepper's less holes, isn't it? Looks like a Dalek. It does look like a Dalek. <laughs> it's even got the bit on the front. Oh, oh, 
Oh, that's so detailed. Nice one, isn't it? Yeah. We must have a body that can go on. Oh, you probably. We've found some good things. We've found some amazing things. There's an S. 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 Oh, we're good. There's all sorts of yeah. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that half bag seal. It is with an M on. I don't know what might have something on it. And it is a P or D. It's a D or a P. I think that's like the front leg of a something yeah. lying down, maybe. What? So we can spell what have we found. <laughs> we can spell what we today. We can spell something more typeface. So is this like a full stop? Glasses. I can't tell you. And then this. I, think I mean, yes. I mean, they had punctuation. Yeah. And then I don't know if that's an S or an H or an AND again or an A. Something. I I can't see. Got <laughs> typeface. You have to spell out a word. Okay. Okay, so I thought it was just a bead, but I think I, I think it might actually be way more exciting. <gasps> yeah, can you see what it is? Uh is it got painting? What? I think it's gonna be millifore. <gasps> really? Just in this pile? <laughs> I think so, I think so. <laughs> Let me see. It is Oh <gasps> Oh my goodness, sir! No way! Go through the pile again. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. That is stunning. And it's an older one, it's yeah. just pure like glass. You can see where the three bits have been like smushed together. Oh my word. I've <laughs> never seen one with a cross on it. And it's a like purple glass. Here, you film it. Mm. I look at it. Yeah, I've never seen one with a cross. And that's on like purple glass. <laughs> You're just looking casually goodness. looking to see if there's any more amazing beads. I'll get my tool out. Oh wow. Oh it's so beautiful. That one, the blue one, with the swirls out and the yellow star uh, flower. That, that, that is stunning. That's incredible. Well. I know, it's amazing. And there's Look, oh my it's called Millifore, Millifore. It looks like, a, oh well because of the blouse, it does look like a battery. It's cool isn't it? Glass. Yeah, it's sort of the same sort of principle, glass of glass fused together, coloured glass. It's incredible. It's a beautiful colour. I think it might be broke, but it's been worn by the river, so it's that is beautiful. <laughs> My fingers are so pruney. <laughs> no. Mum's just passed me this up. That's beautiful. It's got gilding on it. it would have been a brooch, I think, a glass flower. Or a hair barrette. Air gun pellet, which is a pawn in our doll's house chest set, I think, possibly. OK, 
Kate's in the bushes again. Look, there's it. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> what are you going for? Be careful. There's a lot of balls here. <laughs> so this is where the balls go. Cup? Why didn't you take your camera with you? <laughs> I can't get, it's too muddy. <laughs> oh, you're joking. <sighs> Look at all those bottles there though, Kate, behind you. Oh, wow, was that worth it? But they're like literally just above your head there, all caught in the tree, there's loads. It's a coin. Look at that. Down there. Is it going to be broken? No, it's not. Oh, yes. But this water is not nice, so I'm not going to wash it here. I'm going to go wash it in the clear a bit. It's a marble! Oh, Ooh, yes it is, yeah. Swirly one. So just before the roundup, we wanted to share some exciting news that next weekend so next Saturday, we have been invited to go and run a stall at the Chatham Reach Festival a weekend celebrating the river at Sun Pier House in Chatham from 10am to 4pm. So we'll be there with a stall, with some finds, with doll's house, doll's house things, pieces, dolls. a couple, uh, I think some like postcards to sell, I yes. think, of some... Um, with our finds in the doll's house and stuff like that. But yeah, mainly there to sort of talk about mudlarking and talk about mudlarking along the river, the river which is very exciting. It's exciting. A little bit nerve wracking. It is quite scary. <laughs> not, not really done it before. Not, I've never had to no. talk to the general public no. about mudlarking. I imagine there'll be lots of people that don't know what it is. It is yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have a bunch of uh, local finds. Yeah, it's just very exciting. And it's also going to be a wonderful day. There's like river rides on lots of exciting boats there's going to be live music folk music. folk folk music um there's going to be games there's going to be yeah it's going to be there's a poster on screen and there's lots of information about it online but it's yeah very exciting so if you're around if you happen to be in the kent area or near chatham we will be there come from say hi 10 a.m to 4 p.m yeah. So yeah if you would like to you can come and Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very, very exciting. We, yeah, like I said, we've not got to do it before, have we? Yeah. So, brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Come see us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talk about the river. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we just uh, thought we'd mention that if any of you happen to be there, because it's supposed. Uh, I think it's going to be an amazing day. They've done it before, and yeah, a wonderful, wonderful day. Well, that was our trip with. And Mr. Lovely Tom Burley. It was such a good day, wasn't it? It was so fun. It was amazing, yeah. You got so wet. <laughs> so wet. And so did Oscar. <laughs> Oscar really, really enjoyed it. Glass bottom bucketing is like his new favourite thing. Is it? Yeah, I And he really be... does like Tom. <laughs> he really does. Right. Very cute. <laughs> yeah, I had a hole in my willy. That's why I got wet. I didn't realise I had a hole in my willy. <laughs> um, yeah, so... What was your favourite find? I think you should probably start as yeah. the best find of the day. <laughs> you had the most finds though. But I did. Yes, it is my tiny shoe. Um, yeah, it is so detailed. It's like we've got little cobbles on... It's, um, not cobbles. <laughs> it's cobbled the bottom, no. It's got like the nails in the bottom. And yeah, it's a little charm. A good luck charm, I think. 
that would have been maybe in a Christmas cracker or mm -hmm. something like that. Or been in a figgy pudding. Yeah, in a Christmas pudding. That sort of thing. Like the like the good girl lucky thimble that we found in the contents of the 1920s doll's house and like the little silver lucky thimble charm that I wear all the time. And there's a boot in the 1920s house that's like There's that also too. another boot like this, yes, in the 1920s house, just like this, which is why we really wanted to find one. So yeah, it's a little charm. It was just sitting there. Yeah. I didn't even have to use the book. No. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely amazing. It's so detailed. And we are going to use this in the doll's house. You really want to wear it as a necklace, don't you? Yeah, but, but we're scared that... I might lose it. Lose it, so we might try and buy one, because you can't buy these. So, yeah. It's so detailed. It's crazy. It's not a Monopoly shoe. No. But I imagine they probably got... Well, yeah, Thimble. I think Monopoly took a lot of inspiration from, from these the charms, sorts of charms yeah. that you used to be able to buy, because they have, obviously, a thimble and a boot. Yeah. But the bottom's crazy. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. So your favourite find? Probably my bead. Mm, your bead is amazing. Millefour, Millefore bead with the little cross, which I yeah, haven't seen. And then the flowers, three different bits. Should I get the other Millefore beads? Yeah, <laughs> please. <laughs> So our collection is growing now. Mum but has found a little blue one. Too. Yeah, I think I might put it in the beads by accident. It's in with the so other beads. Yeah, three different types. You can definitely tell the one from the Thames is the oldest. It looks a lot older. You had your bit of a millefoy yeah. magnet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the oldest. And probably my favourite. And then I think this one is probably next. Next, and then I think this is the most recent one, 1920s. So yeah, I'd guess if you this could is probably... get a whole necklace worth, I that know. would be amazing. I think the new one is probably 1900 to before the 1920s, but after 1900, so earlier 1900s. Yeah, how incredible! Yeah, it's very, very excited to have found it in such a random place. We did find a few other beads though, didn't we? We did, yeah. There was this one, which unfortunately um, we couldn't... We fit. I've messed up filming yeah, it, maybe, basically. Yeah. <laughs> but this wonderful, lovely three-shaped one, three-cornered one. Really unusual shape and some lovely blue ones. Mm. Talking of lovely blue, a wonderful glass marble, swirly cobalt blue one. Mm. A gobby, five stone, jacks, knuckle bone, games piece. Mm. And then, do all the other finds before. Mum's wonderful whippet or greyhound. Yeah, I'm going to experiment Egg with cup. rebuilding things, so I might rebuild that. I've got, I have plans <laughs> for Mudmus. I've got to experiment in lots of ways to rebuild some things, so I might rebuild that at the same time because mm. it's beautiful. It's not foreign on the bottom. That, that means stick was made after World mm -hmm. War One. Yeah, it's amazing, really detailed. Some Bakelite lids, some beautiful glass for our project over on our second channel. I quite like this. I've got an idea for that too. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's got to be um, pep salt, isn't it? Pepper, yeah. Salt. Pepper. Yeah, it's not pepper. Pepper. Yeah, it's not for um, dust for ink or anything. No, it's, too... it's not a pounce pot. It's yeah, it's pewter though. Yeah, it's beautiful. But I thought you could put a little diorama in it. <gasps> oh my gosh, you could. <laughs> <laughs> you could turn it into a lighthouse or something and put a little. <gasps> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> on our miniature channel. Mm hmm Like we did with our with the yeah, we've done it with a paste pot. Don't show it, it's horrendous. It's not horrendous. <laughs> it's really bad. This is a uh, sardines, isn't it? This was a sardines paste pot, so we made some little leaping sardines with um, It was really fiddly. Pen Pen nibs nibs. a long time ago and yeah, not but we also did it with um, the frozen Charlotte snow globes, didn't we? Um, which I don't think we have any. 
We don't have any anymore, do we? Have okay, we no. Sold them all. Maybe. Yeah, so we've made a couple of little dioramas and things, and yeah, it's incredibly difficult, so I'll leave yes. that to you. Well, yeah, but it's not, that's open, though, isn't mm -hmm. it? That would be much easier. Mm -hmm. It's not like getting into a bottle. Or... <laughs> be amazing to make a tiny lighthouse inside it. Yeah, make a tiny lighthouse inside it. Yeah. Okay, that's getting a bit... <laughs> Out of a pipe stem. Uh, a bit meta. <laughs> I know, just... Okay. Um, and then the metal finds. So we had our... All headless, all different profession <laughs> lead figures. Funny. Got a little drummer, which is amazing. A little motorcyclist or. Horse. I had another horse idea about all our lead soldiers too for Mudmus. <laughs> I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> and, of course, the a tiny head. head. That's the second head we found, isn't it? Mm hmm. I wonder which head he looks best on. That's part of my plan so for Mudmus. <laughs> I know soldiers aren't very Christmassy, but they are toys. Yeah, and... Because we've got bits of horses mm -hmm. and, you know, here's, I just thought we might try... Which day of Christmas is it? Oh. Well, there's uh, no soldiers, but... No. So drummer's drumming. Drummer's drumming. He could be part of the drummer's <laughs> drumming. <laughs> um, yeah, and a... Tiny horse's lead head. Lead horse's head, which is so detailed. I really like that. It would make a really lovely necklace, but probably do something else with it. Well, I think, well, I don't know. This is what, we're going to have to think about that because we found a couple of horses' heads. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of we rebuild them. Yeah, and have, but, but carefully. But make a diorama. Lead. And a little arm holding a knife. Another lead one. Oh, yeah, not out of lead. We just try mm -hmm. and put the pieces together. Um, a horse's, a lead horse's butt. A lead truck. Really cool, very detailed. I wonder if any of our we found lead wheels. I wonder if any of them are yeah, the right yeah. size. Make it a back. Yeah. Make it a truck mm -hmm. or something. Well, there's not enough time. <laughs> <laughs> um, the wonderful daffodil, I'm thinking. Is that going to go in the Doll's House garden? Oh, possibly. <laughs> Beautiful. The tiny buckle I found with Oscar. Doll. Yes. <laughs> Is. Um, Decorative, decorated. It's got sort of laurels and flowers on it. It's beautiful. Yeah, really good for a doll. Some buttons. Lots of So type much typeface. Type we have so much typeface now. I know, we could definitely just write a whole. So that one, I think, is too far gone. Um, so this one is an eight. This one is a an L, a capital L. <laughs> this one is a full stop. Um, this one says I think it says B and F eight. Mm. So I don't know what that means. B and F eight, like an and symbol. This one is a a D or a P, depending on which way you put it up. And then this one is a lowercase a, but the fancy one with the bit on top. <laughs> so how? <laughs> <laughs> Lap. Well, like I say, we've got lots. Mm -hmm. We'll have to sort it all out, won't we? Yeah, we'll have to, because we've uh, our ink has dried up, so we're going to have our stamping pad, so we're going to have to buy a new one, and then we'll just print them all and see if see what we can yeah. write. Mm. And we, you did find a doll's head, didn't you, in pieces? But I did. We've now lost it again. <laughs> it's somewhere. It's, it's probably all the with stuff the sheep, the, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, it's. I, I had a bag full of all the bigger finds in the van. And we cannot find it, but no. yeah, I'm sure it will turn up. Because it was all the other cutlery as well. Yes. Yes, we will find it. And we will. I'm quite feeling quite good about how much of the head was there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we'll find it. We'll find it's here somewhere. As a, um, a little bit on the end of the roundup, I forgot the, the coins were soaking. And then I remembered and I got the coins out and then found something quite exciting. <laughs> um, I think this is a... Victorian threepence, a threepence, and it's silver. 
it's 925 or whatever it is, silver. Um, and you can tell that by how clean it's come mm-hmm. up and how shiny it is. It's And you said it's got Queen Victoria's head on it. Yep. You can't quite see the date. Uh, no. I don't well, know if it's a young head or an old head. No, but it's definitely Queen Victoria's profile. Yeah, and it's definitely silver in that case. So that's so we found silver, mm-hmm. and that's why it's on the end. And funny enough, on the way we saw five magpies, <laughs> and obviously went oh, one for, uh, and five for silver. Yeah, so it does work. It does work. And then Oscar's coin was a farthing. It's got the bird on it, isn't it? Yeah, nineteen. Yeah, the date is gone, unfortunately. It's got George there. So my button that I found is... The Royal Air Force. Royal Air Force. Which we probably could have guessed, really, as it's a bird. Yeah. (laughs) It says London on the back. Is it Furman? Yes. 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 And yeah, it's got the beautiful bird. It's in really good condition. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, Royal Air Force. Obviously, because it's a bird. It's a bird. Flying. Not a duck. <laughs> no. <laughs> so then we have the box of treasures that Tom gave us. And we've already shown on the other channel. I've already used one. One yeah. of First of all, it was this adorable little lead dash hound sausage dog with its paint still intact. And it's just the most adorable, amazing thing. And he's in our doll's house nursery. Yeah, he's just absolutely amazing and we just have to really thank Tom because he yeah, gave us some wonderful things. Like this is part of an insulator but he instantly realised that yes actually it really looks like a doll's house flower pot. It really does. It's perfect as a doll's house flower pot. It's amazing that yeah. Um, the most beautiful doll's head ever. So pretty. She is so gorgeous and she's complete and she has, she's German, she's German and she has like the frills of her, yeah we're going to have to do something very special with her. Is that the one that he said that he, that was the first one he'd ever found? the first thing he ever found and made him realise he could probably make YouTube videos. So we will have to do her. We're going to give a little um, felt hair or something. We are, yeah, or a bonnet. but Maybe we'll make her the proper doll. Oh, like the perfect. <laughs> the perfect well, yeah, she is. Doll. She is complete. Yeah. Maybe we'll try, yeah, and make um, lots of wonderful. Bit, yeah, so very exciting. There are so many dolls, dolls I know. to rebuild this, this rather sinister, <laughs> slightly disturbing looking head. But we've got a very exciting idea for we him. Do, do. He's not going to be a doll. We think we might try our hand at. Um, Puppet making. Puppetry? <laughs> making must be mad. But only because... Um, I said a puppet out of fabric, like a hand puppet, yeah. and then you went, no, I um, want strings. A marionette. <laughs> and, but that is because my dad um, ha- used to make a lot of... He, he, made, he, he, made made, he made puppets when he went to um, art. Oh, no, he just made puppets all oh, the time. He just made puppets. <laughs> okay. So will have to help he us. He is going to have to help us with that one. And yeah, we're going to make a puppet, which is really exciting. Um, really scary. The most adorable tiny figurines. Look at her. She's a cake decoration, isn't she? Yeah, she's, and she's still got her head. She's We've got three got, of them, yeah. but none of them have got their heads. <laughs> so I think she'll just go pride of place in the doll's house, maybe in the living room or something. Yeah, well, she can go with our headless ones. Yeah. To show them what they should look like. Um, there you go. A headless yeah, one. one. <laughs> but look how fancy oh. her dress is. This is a great example of the wonderful things that Tom finds on his channel. Um, tiny little bisque sailor boy. Yeah, they're just absolutely incredible. And another doll's head. Yeah, with beautiful blue eyes. Um, this wonderful lady. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, look, <laughs> that is just ready just for some arms and legs. legs. Yeah, he can go straight into dump dolls, can't yeah. he? Yeah, straight into bed with them. Um, full 1920s, very glamorous figurine. 
um, lots of frozen charlotte bits which is amazing maybe one of them will actually maybe fit, fit my head. Your head yeah just one of my frozen charlottes This one is really heartbreaking. Yeah. But that one, oh, maybe my head's a bit small, actually. It might be a bit small. Um, this adorable, which we think could be a little boy. Could it be a little boy? It could be a little boy. We need little boy we dolls. We do need little boy dolls. I'm not sure dolls. that's a doll, though. I'm sure I think it's an ornament, but I think we may have to resort yes. to using ornament heads ornaments of men. because the boy dolls are <laughs> few and far between. It's amazing. Rabbit. Which we have some plans We did for. have a plan and then you said we weren't going to. Oh yeah, to now we've got another plan. To know plan. another plan. <laughs> <laughs> and then lots of limbs, which is great. Does so that fit on? Limbs for dolls like... Yay! Is that a bit big? A, a I suppose, no, with his yeah, leg. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, I'll try to rebuild the unit. Mm -hmm. I wonder if... Simple. Yeah, that one's a bit small, I think. We've got um, lots, though. Yeah. We should hopefully have enough. I like to add them to dump dolls. Mm -hmm. I like this little <laughs> baby oh, leg. I love that leg. And yeah, there's some very oh, that exciting. Was tiny. It was, I mean, the Lancashire Larks gave us. It's in disarray. I've been replacing the. finishing the floor in the dolls' hospital. But yeah, look, it's much. Oh, I suppose it's not it's that nice much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but well, yeah, we, yes, we have to thank both Tom and the Lancashire Larks because we, yeah. So many more exciting prospects for our dolls. Like, look at this leg. <sighs> I mean, that might have to be a. Is that a similar one? And it is the other side. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I don't. I don't think we've got a doll that sort of size. No. Well, one day we might. But yeah. But yeah. So hopefully. Yeah, that's amazing. And then yeah, they're the same. Oh, they're the same. No, they're not. Oh, you don't have the body. Oh my gosh, that's almost a... <laughs> we don't have the... I'm trying to think what... We've got any heads. Because you can just make a cloth body. Yeah, but should we have any heads? I mean, maybe we could rebuild one. <laughs> yes. Not so we've got some... enough to do. <laughs> there are some very small heads. That might be a bit that's big, a bit but we've got big. some... I think we've got smaller heads, yeah. That's almost a doll. It is almost a doll. We could we give could, it a fabric yeah, body. Yeah, we could make a mould of the other foot to fix the foot. And, and then lots of wonderful bits of glorious, I mean the size of that one, glorious doll faces because we have lots of plans to do some more rebuilding of these like we, we, re, we rebuilt some of these before, the video is up on this channel and we have way more bits now than we did yeah. when we first did that, so I think, yeah. But we, we actually have a complete doll's head too, though, don't we? We do, well, we have one complete doll head, yes. which is a different uh, plan. Different. We have another plan. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about his plan. Does this leg go... Does that fit on that? No. Unless they've got two right, it down. Two, two right oh. feet. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. We probably have a leg, though. Probably. But yeah, it's absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, Tom. This is it's so exciting. So many wonderful things can be made with these. So we hope you enjoyed. It was a little bit longer. It was absolutely wonderful meeting Tom again. He was our second ever collaboration, yeah. the first of which was Richard Henry. Very exciting when we went to meet up with him because obviously We'd seen his videos, yeah. we'd watched his videos. He was part inspiration. He definitely was, yeah. Along with yeah, Nicola White, it was like Nicola White and Tom Burley yeah. that we watched adamantly. So it was wonderful and he is a lovely man, so you should definitely check out his channel. We just have to say a massive thank you to all of you who continue to watch, like and subscribe every week. It's wonderful. Thank you to our donors and of course the Patreons. Which is, there's a new film every day. There's the a new film, well, a new old film on Patreon every day at the moment of our backlog of films. But yeah, like, 
well, there's one for every day of September, pretty yeah. much. So that's you know, it's like a year's worth of yeah. film or something that we had to take down off of our channel. So they're on our for our Patreons every day. We'll be one of those. <laughs> see how far terrible how they terrible were. films are and how far <laughs> we've come but also how cute and small our scores oh, yeah. so yeah we just have to say a massive thank you um, another miniature film starting the Doll's House study on Monday and yeah um, hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and we will see you soon bye, bye. <laughs>